Today, I will show you how to use slicers in Microsoft Excel. Slicers give you buttons to filter tables or pivot tables. They also show what's currently filtered, making your data more specific. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, to do slicers, you have to turn your range of data into formal tables. Here, you have to click anywhere inside your range of data, and then go to Insert and click on Table. And then you will have this pop up and click on OK. And there you have it. Your range of data is now formatted as a formal table. And next, to add slicers, you have to click somewhere inside your formal tables, like this. Then the table design option will show up like this. And in the tools group, click on insert slicer. And here, you just can pick the data that you want to put in your slicers. And for this data, let's choose goods, month sold, price, and star. And after you're done checking the boxes that are important to you, you click on OK. And ta-da! Your four slicers are here. OK, so before we move on to the next part, let's shrink the boxes down a little bit so it's more presentable. And yes, you can arrange it by simply dragging it up and down like this or you can do whatever you want that is suitable to your needs. Now, with the slicers activated, you can click the buttons that have been created. For example, let's click on Ion in Store and then Shirt in Goods, April in Month Sold, and 35 in Price. And you will be provided the data that you have chosen by clicking the buttons like this. And if you want to restore your data, you can click the button like this. Because if you do this, your data will not be restored and we don't want that to happen, right? Instead, you can click this clear filter button and your data will be restored to how it was at the beginning. And here it is, all of your data like the beginning. Next, you can click on this multi-select button to see more than one data that you want to check out. For example, you want to see the shirt and shirt data, but if you click on those two, it will be disappear on your table data like this. So, instead of clicking on those two, choose the other categories outside shirt and short like this, so that your shirt and short data will be provided. And that's all about the usefulness of slicers to your data. Super easy, right? Don't forget to practice it at home. Give this video a like. Comments if you have any questions and share it with your friends if you find this video helpful. Also, subscribe to this channel for more video tutorial like this. See you in another video!